let's talk about wild gerbils. Specifically, the Mongolian gerbil, which is the wild form of all pet store and I don't know if they're technically domesticated gerbils. Now, I am a big fan of gerbils. I used to do some work at a pet store and I would frequently just walk around with at least one gerbil in the sleeve of my hoodie when I was a teenager. They just quite enjoyed hanging out in my sleeve while I would go and clean out their cage and a couple other cages, so that was fun. But gerbils are originally from the grasslands of Mongolia, China, and Russia. They are very social burrowing animals and would usually live in a decently large group made up of a dominant mating pair, a male and female, and most of their descendants. They play quite an important role in the grassland ecosystem, eating seeds and plants and stuff, and also providing food for larger animals, and just basically fill out that important rodent ecological niche. Gerbils also make a very extensive burrowing complex in the wild that most of the individuals live in. It can span quite a large area and can go quite deep. They also make smaller temporary burrowing complexes in areas away from the main nest in order to help individuals escape from predators if they're away from the main area. Now, most people think of gerbils as those just little childhood pets that almost always in most cases don't survive very long and have cannibalistic tendencies, but they really only became a pet animal around the 1950s. Prior, they were used quite extensively in scientific research, much as the same that lab rats and lab mice are being used now, and the use of gerbils for scientific purposes has usually fallen out of favor. They're not that commonly used anymore, so now they're pretty much only found as pets or in the wild in Mongolia where they naturally come from.